Okay guys, today we're going to take a quick look into single op software for the green industry. This is a software that will save you time and money. We've been using it for uh, about a year now and can say it has been more than we could have ever hoped for. If you want to check out this uh, software for yourself, including a free demo from them, you can go to our affiliate link at stsarborists.com forward slash single ops and that is an affiliate link that you can go to and they will set you up with a demo and I just want to say right off the top they do give you a implementation expert to work with you until you get comfortable with the program all of the admin stuff that goes along with this the document templates and all all of these admin setup things are not something that I would be good at, but they work with you and they customize it to your specific company and exactly what makes sense for you. And without them, this would be a little complicated, but they walk you through, they hold your hand and get you to where you need to be. And I'd say they worked with us for several months before we were really at a place where we took this off, uh, took off on our own. Um, today, I'm going to just try and briefly walk through um, setting up a new lead, um, a client, and then walking through what the job looks like from beginning to end. And we'll try to get through this in a timely fashion. So we're going to go up to the customer and we're going to add a new customer. We're going to call him John Doe. And what I like to do is actually, if his name's John Doe, we're actually going to go Doe comma John because um, that's how we like to run it. You can do it whatever makes sense to you. Now it's going to say you don't have this customer because it is a new customer. And so it's going to have this put in here, John Doe, that's first, last, and we have um, last comma first. Um, myself as a sales rep, and we're going to say he's at 321. Main Street, Somerset. Whoops. Um, it is important to note that uh, a lot of the programs I'm going to show you are things that you email to your customer. The, the proposals and the invoices are, are email. So you do want to capture that. If they don't have an email, which sometimes they don't, you can print off everything and then hand it to them in person or send it in the mail. When you're putting in the number, make sure if it is a cell phone, it does go in the mobile, not just the phone. That matters later for sending out text through the program, through the software. So um, let's just say it's um, 111. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the customer's now been set up. We're going to say they called and we're inquiring about some spruce removals so we're going to put that in and maybe you want to add more details than that that's fine you could say it was in rockwood the operation is here you could have any number of operations from tree service landscaping consulting we run everything under one just for ease of use and then um, real easy just click there use billable location and it takes you right on the map to where it is. If this is separate than their mailing address, that's not a problem. You just punch punch in where the work is going to take place, and, and it'll bring it up that way. Now, the client notes and crew notes we'll touch on in a minute, but the internal notes is where I can go and say, um, C for removing um, spruce trees. Okay, and then I'm going to sign it to myself, and there's no contact. So if this was a business, we would set it up as a business, and then right in the top, we could add different contacts and select if it's a, a family member or um, you know the, the property manager. But since this is for an individual, we don't need that, but we could add the contact person here. 
And then we're going to scroll down. It's um, Again, this is a customizable field, and ours just automatically says on-site estimate. And when we want to go and see that work. So we're going to go see it on Monday. And we're going to call ahead so they know we're coming. This is a tag that you can add all these tags, customizable tags, and you can color code them and add them. And it will really streamline your process. So then here we are in the job. We're going to say we are in the lead right now, the lead stage right now. And we're going to say, okay, we've now gone and saw the work. Okay. We're going to convert this to a proposal because we've seen the work and we know what we're doing. We're going to add an item. It is a removal. And again, here you can add any number of things from trimming to stump grinding to plantings and, and all sorts of things. Remove spruce trees. Again, we could get really detailed here, but I'm just trying to, in the interest of time, make this pretty. Straightforward. And I have the photos right in this folder. This is the little attach link. So basically, I'll show you what I just did there. It's, it's going to add a photo. And it's going to basically attach this photo with this specific line item. So if I had another item that I wanted to do on the same job, let's say it was a stump. and I wanted to attach a photo for that one, it would be right with the line item for the stump grinding so that this keeps very clear um, differences. Now that the prices, you know, we're gonna say we'd do this tree for a dollar and the stump for two, but Really, you can do whatever your unit price is. If you, know, if you need to charge $150 an hour and you know you're going to have six hours in it, it'll auto-compute and say, okay, this is the price over here. But if you just want to run with a um, set price on everything, if you're just giving quotes for this is what it will be, then that's a good way to do it here. Okay. And it won't let me now add. Oh, because you have to have at least one. So you have to have a quantity of one before you can have a price. Makes sense. Okay, so then you scroll down to the map. And we're going to say, let's pretend that this is the spruce tree in the front. We're going to use orange and say, right there is the spruce tree we want to remove. And then we're going to add another one. We'll say the stumps back here in the back. And we can go up and we can change that to another color, whatever makes sense. And this is the stump. Now I put one here and two here. And the reason for that is because um, it will show up on right here. This is item number one and this is item number two. And so when you look at the map, when we get to the proposal, you'll see why that makes sense. Now is when you can put the crew notes in. You put anything you want, um, like beware of dog or park on side street. Anything that you want for your guys to pay attention to. And again, even if you wanted to put the park on side street, you can go in here. You say, okay, here's where you want to park. Let's make that a different color. And we're just going to name it a different number. It's not going to associate with the line item, but it's, uh, it's just you don't want that associated with one of your existing line items. Okay, here's where you can get yourself into trouble. So it says, warning, these notes are displayed to client in the invoice and proposal. Uh, whatever you want to type here to your client for specific notes, um, just the internal and the crew notes won't be seen, but anything here will be seen by your client, so just be aware of that. And then here's the terms. It's due on receipt. And then um, 
when we're going to start it. So we can do it on Wednesday. It's going to take all day. And if you didn't click all day, you could say, okay, it's only a half day job. You can go in here and pick exactly how long it's going to take. But um, let's just say it takes all day. And then here's where your tags get important. So let's um, look at Bumblebee. That's a little nine inch chipper and um, Dumpy. That's one of our smaller chip trucks. So let's say this is the things the crew need. And maybe there's a fence that needs uh, moved before they can start. And so we'll ha say, okay, let's bring some fence tools. That's important. So all these tags are color coded and customizable to whatever makes sense for you. And um, the expert at Single Ops will help you to know what you need here as well. So we're going to update and close that. And then we'll get a chance to look at the finished proposal. And this is what the client is going to see whenever you send them the email. Three dollars. And don't mind Santa Tree Service up here. We are undergoing a name change to STS Arborists. And so this was our original name, and that is changing um, this spring. And so you will see that show up, but we are the same company, STS Arborists, Santa Tree Service. It's the same. And so this is going to pull up. It's for John Doe at 321 uh, Main Street. And here's all the information on what you're going to do, the prices. Here's our contract. And if you print this off and hand it to them, here's where they can sign. If they click the accept proposal button in an email, that is the same as a signature. So once they click that button, it's a signed contract and you're good to go. And then they do have, here's where we attach the photos. And then here's where you can see the tags. And this is again, um, where you can see um, for your crew, oh, right here's where we wanna park. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna email our client So right here is where you would put their email, but it will automatically put it in if you have an email attached, but I didn't add one for John. And so his email would be right here automatically, or you can click and manually type it in. Um, when we click on this, these are the different templates. So if we click on the proposal email, then it has a pre-set thing that it says with the link and this link is for the proposal which I just showed you and you do want to make sure you click on the little box to actually attach the proposal uh, otherwise you're going to send them this text without without the proposal onto it so this link takes you to that same page and we'd hit send and it would go off um, into their email now when they accept that um, you can go in and you can click on your work order and this is going to be slightly different than the proposal page in that it's not going to have the prices. And in addition, it is going to have all your tags and your crew notes. So this is the one that you hand to your crew member, to your crew leader, and you say, take this and go do the work. And they're going to have all the information they need from where to park to what the trees look like and all the information about um, which chipper and truck that they should be using and what types of tools they might need. Okay, so then the work is done. You come in and you hit email and you have an invoice and you make sure you click the little button for that invoice and you can send off that, e that invoice and what the invoice looks like, I'll show you right now. Right here, this shows up in their, their email and again, if they don't have email, that's not a problem at all. Just print it off, send it in the mail, they'll get it, and then they'll return um, this with a check. Okay, pretty straightforward. Everything's here. Again, they will see the client notes. If the client notes, uh, if you added client notes, they'll be here underneath the contract part. And if you didn't, then they won't. They won't ever see the crew notes or the internal notes. Okay, that is pretty much a speed run on creating a lead proposal, how to make it active and, and schedule it and get it done and into the hands of your crew.
and how to send out an invoice. And there's so much more features that I can't cover in the amount of time that I have, but I would recommend you go over to stsarborists.com forward slash single ops. That is our affiliate link with single ops. They'll get you hooked up with a demo and we will get a little bit of a commission on that and they will have a implementation expert work with you to get you all set up. It takes a little bit of time to get set up, but then the time it saves you is tremendous.